Hello everyone, SP Architects here. Today we are going to create a landscape object like this. I want to accept that this is a challenging object because this has got a kind of organic form and it's hard to make this through ordinary way. Therefore, we are going to follow for this another way. By the way, this kind of objects can be used for your landscapes and it has got stairs like this. People can climb here and watch their around or instead of that they can use this this area at the bottom for exhibition house and this is the original picture that i have as you can see here people can walk on that and also we have some exhibition things bottom of the this area all right let's get started Alright, here we are in ArcCAD and I have some sketch for this video tutorial. I have made this by splines. These are splines and this is a simple circle. But the trick is we are going to divide those by two. And from here to here maybe. And this is going to be Two object, one of them is this one and other one is this. We can start this with this part and in order to do that we are going to use Morph tool. Just a joke. By the way, I don't like to use Morph tool and I think it doesn't work properly. It can slow down your computer too much and it's very hard to create objects with Morph tool. Instead of that, I prefer using basic slab beam, column, etc, etc. My humble advice for you, do not, do not use the more tool too much. Instead of that, we are going to use mesh tool. Yes, mesh tool is a very nice tool. I like to use it very much. You can see it in my tutorials. It's very useful for this kind of objects. Okay, let's start with this polygonal method and sketch over that. Let's start from here and place one by one. Or instead of that, let's try using magic band tool. Hit the space. Yeah, maybe we can use this. No, we can't. Okay, let's delete because I couldn't create openings as I want. Let's continue one by one. The more point you create, the more quality model you have. But for this tutorial, I am going to make this with basic points. Something like this. And let's finish with this point and turn this curve to edge and other ones. Yeah, you can finish that for all of the edges, but that's enough for this. And once we have done that, let's create the second part. As you can see, I'm using bigger space. Yeah, there we go. Let's create our curves. Don't worry guys, I'm going to upload my quality model, not this one in our Patreon page. Anyways, you get the point. All right, let's go back to 3D. And this is what we have and it doesn't look like anything yet. 
let's just zoom in and as you can see we have this blue reference line and we have this extension thickness for this mesh tool we cannot change the height of these reference lines but we can change the height of this extension thickness points this one if we just click the point you can see this stretch height but if you click this reference you cannot see stretch height i mean for only one point if you change this this is going to be changed for all of the edges but i want to control only one point with this elevate mesh point for this we don't have elevate mesh point and you cannot use elevate mesh point for this reference point you get the point and we have here we have this elevate mesh point too but there is a tip for you let's go back and click this point or this point this stretch height to the zero point or before that this stretch this height but it's moving with the reference line instead of that let's go back and to the ground point ground floor we are going to click our mesh and click the points click elevate mesh points and we are going to input a value here and use apply to or instead of 100 centimeter you can just use the value you want for your building for instance 5 meters for this kind of building we can use and let's make this 5 meters apply to all oops i'm sorry we have millimeters we are working in the millimeters let's go to the world dunkins and change the millimeter to centimeter go to ground do it again input here 5 meters and for this one let's click ok and this is what we have and this is what i wanted to say before we have divided the top part and the reference part therefore we can click easily the top part of the mesh if we wouldn't have done this we could accidentally click the reference points and we wouldn't see our elevate mesh points this one by the way let's get rid of this thickness part because it's the under the ground floor elevation let's input here zero and you will see that part is going to be hidden and once we have done this we are going to arrange our points how we are going to do that i'm sorry we are going to do this one by one but a trick for you again if we stay with this five meters and if we just make this zero to the zero elevation and in the middle of the line the point is going to be 250 something like this and also this one i think this point and let's match this point with the, this point yeah we are doing well it doesn't look like anything yet but it's going to be this point is going to be placed in the middle of this and this one and these points will be interpolated with eyeball i think and instead of using eyeball you can just calculate 
it's up to you. I'm gonna make this with eyeball. Don't worry with these edges. We are going to clean that in the settings. Maybe something like this. Yeah, there we go. We have a high slope here. Let's make this smooth. Let's give this one a smoother edge. Okay, I think it's looking good. Let's continue. This is going to be at the bottom and this one and those will be smoothed. There we go. We have the second part. And also we have some space between the this surface and this, this surface. So we can make this higher. Something like this. I don't know. You can calculate for your model. Let's just match these points together. All right. Let's make this higher. And we can arrange this previous part with the second part. All right, I think that looks nice. Other step is getting rid of the, these unnecessary edges. In order to make that, we are going to use this floor plan and section. And we have this rich selection, show all ridges. We are going to get rid of this with show user defined ridges. And also, in the settings, we have this 3D appearance. We have this all ridges smooth. Let's click that and click OK. And this is what we have. 
with that you can see the sharpest points for your model and you can fix that like this anyway and the third step is making openings how we are going to do that let's just think a second all right time is out we are going to use boolean operation we are going to duplicate the first two and this right click move and click drag a copy click a point and click the same point after that hit the d or move drag click the point hit the shift you will see this blue reference line for the z axis and you are going to input here for your thickness for your object or building which is for instance 40 or 50 let's input here 50 and hit enter and we are going to give that a layer which is hidden but it's hidden let's hit the control plus l show the hidden objects and select the bottom objects right click connect solid element operations add as operator click those and use them as target use subtraction with downwards hit execute and i think this is going to work let's go back to the layer use the hidden but we have a problem here because this is executing the two objects at the same time let's click this window and subtract one of them i don't know which one is let's try one by one i wanna click that and there you go and as you can see with this example this is the main idea how you can approach similar problems like this at the end of this object you can use the curtain walls with this curve with this curve and you can make openings and use the area inside add stairs add materials and take renders and it's going to be wonderful all right this is the finished model as you can see here we have stairs railings they are climbing here and it turns to some grass and pass inside under the this structure we have some curtain walls and the area and the building all right guys i hope you have enjoyed with this tutorial do not forget to subscribe hit the like button for the patreon supporters i'm gonna add this file this one not that one this file to the patreon page and that you can download and also with the other project files again thank for watching have a nice day